All right. This morning, this morning in our mentions and tips, and I always like to give a little education before we start our class, right? The more you know, the more you understand, the better you are to practice at home. A lot of folks do not realize we have 10,000 Americans turning 65 every day. Every day, every 19 minutes a senior is treated in the ER. No, every uh, 19 minutes a senior dies from a fall-related injury. Every 11 seconds a senior is treated in the ER for a fall-related injuries. All these stats, all these sources, all, these inf all this information I'm giving you is available at mybalanceuniversity.com. You can go and check out the very same notes I'm using right here. You, they are available online to the public free of charge. You can download, scroll to the bottom of the page, references and sources. You can pull everything I'm, I'm reading to you. It's all right here, okay? I just organized it in a nice, nice neat fashion for you. So this morning, we're going to be talking about the vestibular system. Does anyone know what the vestibular system is? Probably by now, huh? Everyone knows what the vestibular system is, and I'm going to try to stay in, in picture there, guys. The vestibular system, the eyes and ears. The eyes and ears. How important are eyes and ears to balance? Well, we're going to find out here shortly when we do an assessment. It's pretty significant. We also have mechanoreceptors at the bottom of our feet that detect pressure. So if we're leaning too far forwards or maybe something has fallen backwards, right? There's a point of no return. And what we want to do is try to catch ourselves before we reach that point of no return and there's no going back and we suffer an unintended fall. Cause of preventable injury related deaths in public places. Falls account for the majority of those deaths. Falls. 35%. 35%. The next number two is poisoning at 32% and that's accidental poisoning. So the next thing we're going to look at at 2030, at 2030, we're looking at, I remember I quoted it was every 11 seconds, a senior is treated in the ER every 19 minutes, a senior dies from a fall related injury. By 2030, we're looking at seven deaths every hour. That's a lot. In 2016, there were $50 billion attributed to fall-related injuries. Medicare and Medicaid bore two-thirds of those costs. If we have 10,000 seniors turning 65 every day, what is that doing to our public health services? Right? So you have folks like me who are now stepping into the industry to try to help prevent working with companies like Florida Blue trying to help prevent these falls. Remember, falling is not a normal part of aging. Regardless of what anyone tells you, it is not a normal part of aging and we want to prevent that. Last thing we're going to look at quickly, fall death rates in the U.S. One out of five falls causes a serious injury such as broken bones or a head injury. Each year, 3 million older people are treated in the emergency room departments for fall injuries. Over 800,000 patients a year are hospitalized. And we've covered this in class before, the falls in hospitals and in CCRCs, continuing care retirement communities. It's bad at home. It's three times, four times as worse in facilities. And we, we can, you can check that out online. Remember, all sources are available at mybalanceuniversity.com. One out of five falls causes serious injury, such as broken bone. That's one out of five. That's repetitive. Yep, yep, that's repetitive. That's repetitive. Okay. So, vestibular system is extremely important. Here in a second, we're going to do an assessment. We're going to close our eyes, and you're going to find out right away how important the vision is. In our ears, we have semi semicircular canals or tubes that have fluid. These semicircular canals, they detect and our orientation in the world and how we're standing. Are we horizontal? Are we vertical? How are we moving in and about our surroundings? The eyes also help orient us, right? For obvious reasons. 
The eyes have a common nerve that go to the brain. The ears have a common nerve that go to the brain. How many of you have ever been car sick or seasick, motion sickness? Have you ever experienced that? What is happening is in a boat, for instance, you're sitting and you're riding in a boat, you're looking out over the, the lake or, or the river or wherever, the bayou where I'm from, the bio, how we pronounce it, uh, you have waves. And so when you're looking, you're looking on the horizon, right? So everything kind of seems calm for the most part. Well, your ears are detecting something completely different as you're bouncing around and the waves are knocking you about. Signals. That's how we get motion sickness. The brain says, nope, not doing it. And it gives you the feedback that it's not okay. So what I want to suggest now is that make sure you're getting your eyes and ears checked at least once a year, okay? Real quick, one of the leading health concerns for people over the age of 60 is falling, which is often related to balance problems. Millions of adults, one in five, we talked about that, according to the CDC, one in three adults, 65 and older, uh, fall. One in three adults, 65 and older. How many of you have fallen but didn't tell anyone? That happens quite a bit, and you're in good company because over 50% tell their doctor. Only 50%, that's half. It's important that you tell someone, especially your physician, because there may be something they can do, right? It may be a simple fix. All right. Consequences of falling can be substantial. Between 12 and 67% of elderly adults who fracture a hip die within one year. I did an interview with Dr. Khan. Some of the research I was finding, according to our CDC, it's telling us, oh, I'm sorry, this is a study, Oregon Health and Science University, okay? Here it's telling us between 12 and 67%. During the interview, Dr. Khan revealed something really telling. He said, people who fall and have a, a hip fracture or, or uh, arm fracture or leg fracture, they're usually gone in three to six months in his practice. That's alarming. We want to avoid the falls. Good, good. Balance control depends on healthy function across many brain areas. The brain has to process and interpret sensory information like things coming from our eyes and ears. We can adapt and learn new strategies with practice and that's what we're gonna do here today. So let me jump through here. I have a lot of notes. I'm not gonna go through everything. I want you guys to go read this for yourself. It'll also be in your email today when it's sent. I'll send it, you can open it up right there. I do wanna talk quickly about the three different, there are three different vestibular issues we're gonna talk about, okay? Over 45 million Americans struggle with tinnitus. Now what is tinnitus? Tinnitus is a continual ringing in the ear, right? It can be low, it can be loud. Millions of Americans experience tinnitus. Over 45 million Americans struggle, like I had said just a second ago. Good. Another issue is going to be, boy, there's a lot on tinnitus, is what's called Meniere's disease, All right? Have you, have you guys heard of Meniere's disease? That's a... Uh, that's a little less common. Meniere's disease is another vestibular disorder that causes dizziness, right? What's another issue that causes dizziness? Vertigo. How many of you guys have experienced vertigo, right? It's pretty uncomfortable. So you do the slopping back and forth on the bed to get the crystals right. Good stuff. Okay, so make sure you guys go and check these sources out right now. Let me have you stand. Let's move behind our chair. We're going to get to work.